I wanted to do a quick follow-up video on the one that I posted yesterday on the Bass Boss Sublimate Column Loudspeaker because I made some mistakes and I'd like to try to correct it in this video without confusing anyone any further. The point of that video was to get a message out there and I think the message is still good but some of the things that I said in the video were incorrect. The first mistake I made was I spelled sublimate wrong. I spelled it sunlimate in the title of the video. I corrected that. Nobody else caught it, but I caught it. It was just a typo when I was uploading the video. Another mistake I made was suggesting that watts is power consumption, not power output. Let me word this a little different. When we're looking at watts on a powered speaker, for our purposes as dumb DJs who need to look at a spec to see how loud something is, that number doesn't help you. Look at SPL, which is measured in decibels. So how many dB is a speaker? That's the spec you need to know. Someone asked me in the comment section, well, would you buy a 50 watt speaker? Sure. If it produced the SPL that I was looking for, absolutely. If a speaker had a 50 watt amp in it and it produced 120 SPL, that's pretty efficient. I'd absolutely go for it. Sure, why not? I don't care. I don't care how many watts the speaker is. I'll let the audio engineers worry about that. That's the message. That's it. And that's my video. And it's a short one. I've got to do a long drive tonight and get to a gig. So I got to go, but I really appreciate you watching. Sorry about the mistakes. I'm sure there were others, but I'm really trying to help. That's all I'm trying to do. And I'm trying not to confuse anybody any further than they are. So message, don't pay attention to watts when we're worried about how loud something is. Look at decibels. Look at that sound pressure level, measure in decibels. Check that out. That's the spec you look for. And yeah, absolutely look at frequency response. Once you wrap your head around that, Look at that spec too, but start with that whole sound pressure level thing. That's a good place to start for anybody who doesn't know a whole heck of a lot about how this stuff works. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.